What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Let's Grab Lunch. So let's grab some lunch. Let's look at what we have today. Big old bowl pasta that I've had before. And then four eggs. Oh, one drop, okay. Four hard boiled eggs and I'm gonna dip them in some soy sauce. Um, and I got four scoops of whey protein in here. So I think that puts me at about like this meal altogether is about 980 calories and I think, what was it? Like 132 grams of protein, 130, somewhere around there. So yeah, let's dig on in. Hopefully your work day is going all right so far. Mine's got a lot of meetings, but can't complain, pretty good today. Feeling pretty good too. Because mm. I'm gonna have some pasta, that's why. And also, because um, I had a pretty good leg workout this morning I haven't hit legs in probably half a year or so just because i quit lifting for a couple months and even when i did not gonna lie i didn't hit legs all the time mm. but what's funny is i've had people at the gym come up to me and ask me how i got my calves so big like what kind of routine I do for them and stuff. I told them nothing, just weigh like 250 pounds and walk around all day. You know, build all the calves you could want. And it's true. I I never like isolate my calves. I'm just big. <laughs> mm, it's so good. But yeah, the workout I had this morning, hit some squats, some um, stiff-legged deadlifts. What else I do? I, I tried out um, the Bulgarian, Bulgarian one-legged squat or something like that. I don't know. It's where you're, you have like one leg up on the bench and then like, you're kind of like doing this almost, you know? Yeah, I think it like isolates your quads or something. I don't know. A lot of people like it. I thought I'd try it out and it, it was tough. I can only do like five reps per each side. Um, that's my first time for, I think I did four or five sets. I can't remember, but yeah, it definitely feel it. That's for sure. And I'll see how I feel not tomorrow, but probably the day after. Cause I don't know why when I hit legs or majority of any other body parts if I hit it really hard I don't really feel sore the next day but I feel sore the day after next so like it's a I think there's a term for it Dom's delay of muscle soreness or something delayed onset of muscle soreness or something like that but yeah that, that shit's real <sighs> yeah but you know you had a really good leg workout when you're just standing there and like you start twerking. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you just your legs just start shaking like crazy, like trying to hold yourself up. And that's what was happening to me this morning. So you know I had a good leg workout. Maybe the last leg workout for a while. We'll see though. Hopefully I can stay consistent with it. Look at this, so good, so simple. It's just pasta and some marinara sauce and some um, Parmesan cheese, of course. But speaking of working out, I actually updated my stats in my MyFitnessPal. That's kind of how I'm, I'm tracking how many calories and like how many grams of protein I've had for the day, because those are the two numbers that I really care about. Carbs and fats, it's whatever to me, as long as I'm hitting my calories and my protein. Like those two things, if I hit them, I'm, I'm good. Like the rest could just be whatever, don't really care. Um, so I updated my weight and like all that stuff. And it's saying I should be consuming 20, around 2,100 calories instead. Previously, like for the earlier part of this week, I was kind of aiming at 1,800 but maybe that's a little too aggressive. Um, so we're gonna 
try out 2100. I'm thinking maybe try that out for like a month or so. Was or a month? Yeah, a month or two and see how like my weight has shifted, how I feel, stuff like that. And then we can adjust from there. But with that calorie increase to 2100, I'm gonna try to hit like 200 grams of protein. I was reading a couple of like medical articles this morning and I know the the standard is like one gram of one gram of protein per body weight um, in pounds, I believe. So that would put me at like 248 grams of protein a day. That's just crazy. Um, back during my aggressive cut, I was hitting like 220 a day, but I saw a couple articles saying that there was no additional benefit of having more than like 0.82 grams of protein per body weight. So with that kind of calculation, um, puts me at roughly like 200 and some change. So I'm going to just say, let's shoot for 200 and see, see how the body reacts for like a month or two. And then we'll adjust as we drop down. So that's the plan moving forward. That means I can eat a little more. Which is always nice. Mm. Speaking of eating more. Now with like 2,100 uh, calories, I think I could eat a whole medium Domino's two topping pizza for lunch and still be pretty okay in terms of like calories for the day. Because based off the calculator on their website, it's saying uh, pineapple and pepperoni pizza. And yeah, pineapple does belong on pizza. Um, it comes out to about... 210 calories uh, per slice. There are eight slices in the pie. So let's see, 200 a 16, 1680 calories for the day, um, for, for that meal, not for the day. And that'll leave me about, so let's say 1700. If I'm trying to hit 21. That'll be 400 calories left for dinner. And I'm sure if I ate a whole medium pizza, I'd be pretty satisfied until dinner, like probably through dinner too, to the point where I wouldn't need to eat dinner, but like a light 400 calorie dinner would probably be perfectly fine at that point. So I'm pretty excited about that because definitely going to do it. Maybe next week. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Mm. There we go. Eight, eight grams of protein, done. Let's take a break from the pasta. Let me get a napkin real quick. Oh, and go over to the, the eggs, the four hard boiled eggs and the soy sauce. I was gonna do um, eggs dipped in salt and pepper, but uh, I couldn't find any pepper, so. I don't know if that's like a Asian or Vietnamese thing, but that's how I grew up eating hard boiled eggs was we dipped them in um, salt and pepper. Since I don't have that, soy sauce would do just fine. Just... Mm, look at that. See that? That's a good hard boiled egg. Now if I'm eating it alone, I don't want it to be too runny. But if I were to put in like ramen or something, I'll get it just a little runnier. But what you want to do is boil your water in a pot and put these bad boys in for seven minutes, about um, maybe seven and a half to get this kind of consistency, seven to like make it a little runnier. At least that's in my experience, that's worked. So, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Pretty good. Okay, this one's a little too done, but still good. 
not all the way done, which would be too much. Like eating steak, like well done. Mm -mm. That's a no-no. Steak at most should be eaten like medium well, I would say. But I mean to each their own, you can do whatever. I always get medium rare. There are times where that medium rare is like more to more like a medium, more toward medium well. And then there are times where it's like rare. And that's I'm not great with sending things back though, so I'll just eat it. I mean it's still good, but whatever. Mm. Yep, look at that. See? And squeeze a little. Look at that. Look at that runny yolk right there. That's what we want. That's the consistency we want. Mm. So random question that I was thinking about, and I've had this argument before with like some of my coworkers, some of my friends, some of my coworker friends. Oh, good. Look at that. Look at that yolk. Mm. So good. I poured way too much soy sauce. But now I have all this stuff. I don't want to waste it. But I don't know what to do with it. I'm not going to drink it. Where am I? I mean. Mm, yeah, nope, nope. I'm not doing that. Anyways, back to the thing. Does a straw have one or two holes? Mm. I think it's one. I would say one. Like if I didn't really think about it, and it was like kind of a like a quick response kind of thing, like on the spot, I would say two. But the more I think about it, the more I'm, I lean towards one. Because one side is the opening of the hole and the other side is the exit of the hole, right? And it's like connected. So it's not like there's no, nothing in between to distinguish that, you know, there's only one hole. Like if I were to take a sheet of paper, which I don't have around me for some reason, and I put a hole in it, that's one hole. But we think about it, even on a microscopic level, that sheet of paper, like, a lot thinner than this, but that hole, that one hole would go through one end and out the other. So we took that sheet of paper thickness and we just expanded it. It'd be somewhat like a straw or if you take a straw and you just compress it, right? But then the argument on the flip side is if you consider that one hole, then some would say, think about, <laughs> think about your mouth and your butt. It's one digestive tract. But then again, I, I'm not an anatomy expert, but I'm sure there are, is it just one? Or are there like closings and stuff that kind of like determines, oh, that's the end of that hole. And that's the beginning of the other. I don't know. Cause I wouldn't consider my mouth and my butt like just one hole. <laughs> um, yeah. Or if you dig a hole in the ground, that's just one hole also, but there's no, like the entry and the exit is just one like opening, I guess. So that's, I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me, let me know. It's so good. But yeah, I think about random questions like that. Like I remember when the whole, 
thing that set the internet ablaze was like, is water wet? I'm not going to get into that because I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, just random questions. So if any anything else comes to mind, I'll definitely talk about it on here. Mm. Hopefully you're enjoying your lunch. I am with mine. Almost mm, a little more than halfway through, I would say. And I swear, I do eat vegetables. I make sure to get my fiber in and stuff. Usually around dinner. I know I should be trying to get it in during lunch. And I'll try incorporating that a little more. Um, moving forward. I just got to go to Costco and buy those big frozen like mixed bag of veggies. And just stir fry those up. That's what I usually do for vegetables. Super cheap, super easy to do. Stir fry with a little soy sauce. Um, MSG, always gotta have that. Some uh, chicken bouillon, that's always good. That gives it that flavor. Um, what else? And some sugar. Throw it all in there. Mix it around on a high heat. Comes out super good. Kinda like a bocce. Killing it. We're killing lunch today. So good. <clears throat> this is definitely going to leave me satisfied through dinner. So, for dinner, I would still need 70 grams of protein. So, I mean, if I'm not that hungry, actually, there's some Korean beef in a press pressure cooker downstairs and it tastes so good. So, I probably have some of that, maybe like one or two servings of protein shake just to hit the protein limit, but I don't know if I'm going to eat anything else outside of that. We'll see. Mm. And this is the last bag of pasta, so I got to go grab some more this weekend, hopefully. So quick and easy, like 15 minutes and I can get this big old bowl of pasta. Mm. Mm. There it is. All done. That's everything. That was a great lunch. Big lunch. Let's um let's not make this a regular thing. I don't wanna get too used to eating massive amounts of food all at once. Got used to that before and then I just felt like I had to do that with every meal, which was not great. But yeah, thanks for joining me in lunch today. Um, hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.